Hi guys, Roscoe here, and welcome to my review of the Sideshow Collectibles Deluxe Darth Vader figure. Well, first let's go take a look at the packaging. As you can see, we have a very large box, shoebox style, which is great, nice and collector friendly, six scale. I uh, picked up the Sideshow exclusive edition of this, which comes with an extra set accessory, which I'll show you shortly. Got slight raising of the box here to outline Vader's mask. It's a nice simple touch. Once you remove that, you have a backing sheet showing an unmasked Vader or Anakin there. It's quite nice. As you can see, the box is quite deep from the width there. Then once you remove that, you have your, your bottom section which holds the figure and accessories and here is the back of the shoebox style um, package. Nice picture of Vader as seen in Return of the Jedi. So overall really nice artwork uh, with this packaging. Looks really nice. Alright accessories. Firstly we get the Anakin Amar sculpt which is really detailed, really nice, lots of little intricate parts in the front of the mask, side view, you see the sort of the studs and clips on the, on the bottom there, all these scars, very nice sculpt, but unfortunately I love the mask uh, look better, so unfortunately it's going to be staying in the box, which is a shame. You also get uh, a loose mask, which sort of sits on top of this stand. You get a loose dome, which sort of rests on top of the stand. And that has a built-in LED red light feature on this base here. It's quite nice to include that. And that has a switch on the back to turn the red light on, on and off. Now the exclusive comes with the uh, cut-off arm or hand which we see in the end of the Return of the Jedi. Not too much of an you know, exclusive really, um, but if you want to recreate that scene, you know, the exclusive is a must have then. But generally it's not really much of a, a piece to really want to go out and get the exclusive. Uh, we have the lightsaber hilt, which is really nice. Uh, not as crude as the Yoda one, it's a lot nicer. It has like a sort of metal clip on the top we get spare hand here. That's the part that's sort of cut off, which is cool. And then we get plenty of gloved hands. So there's heaps to choose from. Got eight spares all up. So you got plenty of options there. So you got your force choke and your pointing hand, clenched hands for the lightsaber and so on. So overall you've got heaps there to choose from. Right, we also have this awesome and absolutely massive base here which lights up. Nice red colour. Got the switch on the back down here. Here it is. So that turns it on and off. Really nice touch, adds to the figure quite a lot. Get the lightsaber, the fully lit one. This doesn't have a light up feature at all. It just has sort of like the red plastic tubing. Camera's only picking up as a dull orange, but it is quite red in person. And here we have the figure. Absolutely awesome. Most iconic villain in history. Finally got one in the collection. Something I've wanted for a long time. the helmeted sculpt there. Looks really really cool. Nice and reflective. Really really nice. Actually a very big figure too. He's a big guy in the film I suppose so I'd say they've got that spot on. Got the outfit. 
It's got the green lights up on the belt. You can't really see this light, but this is flickering. The red there. The pants sort of bunch up a little bit in the groin area. That's really unavoidable. Just how it's been um, attached to the sort of waist and hip area section here. The belt isn't separate. Um, it actually wires up and goes through the body and connects into this part. So you can't really just take that off and have that on and off. It's all wired together. Um, now with this, I had one little issue, or I've had a couple issues with this figure to be honest. Just now before the review, trying to get the battery pack screwed on and the ability to have the lights go. Um, it was very frustrating. Start To start off with, trying to undo the screw was immensely hard. I almost stripped the screw getting it off. It's that tight. Um, and then actually did manage to get it off. And now just before the review, try to switch it on. Have to lift up all the cape from behind to get to it. Switched it on, wasn't working. You have to use a massive amount of force for the actual connection to take place. And tried all different ways of lining up the, the battery pack cover or the lid. That sort of makes connection. And that wasn't like making connection properly. Managed to get it. The screw only went halfway in this time and actually started working. Once I screwed the screw fully in, it stopped working. So I might try getting a replacement screw at some stage and some newer, um, better quality, quality batteries and that might solve the issue. Just seems to be the back battery cover lid just not um, you know, making connection properly. So that was one little drama I had with this. But it's working at the moment for the review, which I'm quite happy about. I won't be using it after this anyway, but it's good to know it still works. Um, the cape is one of the nicest capes I've ever seen on a stock standard figure without getting a custom one made. It falls very nicely. Once you crease it in a certain way, it stays. So if I move this out of way, sort of bend that to a position. It stays exactly where, exactly where you leave it. It doesn't come out really baggy. That's a big cape, but just falls really naturally. And I'm very happy with it. Something you have to be careful. You have a little dry, dry bits of skin on your hands. You might have to be careful grabbing it. it. Might grab and sort of pull little parts off. But haven't had that trouble yet. But just something to be wary of. Overall, it's an outstanding looking figure. Um, I'm only now able to start enjoying it after having it for over two months. Um, reason being, this uh, the first batch or a number of these figures had de uh, defective head sculpts. Now when I first opened mine, I got this head sculpt. It's absolutely riddled with creases, wrinkles, looks like bite marks, massive dings. All over, it's got missing tusk, silver tusk down there's gone. It was absolutely disgusting, it was heartbreaking when I opened it. Um, message Sideshow, asked for a replacement, they said I had to wait two to three weeks for a replacement till they get more made. So I had to wait, I, actually, I think I actually wait, waited four weeks. They got more in stock, a lot of people having that drama. They sent me a new one, which was great. Um, got this one. And when I opened it out of the package, the dome had snapped off the actual face sculpt. So that was annoying. I thought, oh, I might be able to get away with it and glue it myself. Which, you know, still annoyed me a bit that I'm always going to remember that I had to glue it myself. But then notice this little bit in the top middle section was cut off. So there's a little cut, cut off piece between the eyes, just above the eyes there. So, ring them again, or messaged them again, and um, they sent me a third. Third time lucky. I got a good sculpt. So that was a massive issue with this figure and I know a lot of people's figures. Some people with the later um, editions or the regular versions have had no problems but I know a lot of the exclusives had that problem. So I'm glad it's all fixed now but it was a painful process and I basically didn't enjoy such a great character and expensive figure for a long time until I got it repaired or replaced. Yeah, so I'd like to give a shout out also to a fellow 16 Oz member, 
um, Robert McDermott, who sort of sympathised with my predicament um, after posting numerous complaints on that Facebook page, 16Oz. Great bunch of guys on that site. Um, and he sent me um, an audio accessory for um, the Darth Vader sound effects. So I'll just plug it in and so I'll get an idea what he's like with his sounds. So. I'd like to thank Robert for that. Adds to the figure, and um, it's good to know there's some great guys out there that support other collectors. And it just sort of complements this piece a little bit more, having a sound effect to go towards it. Very iconic villain. And long overdue character in the collection, that's for sure. Alright guys, I think I've covered most things. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this review. I'll catch you guys later. Bye for now.